and welcome back to the channel and cat. Today I'm going to be reviewing Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget, which came out about less than a week ago, and um, I was um, I um, I was going to release this earlier, but I um, I had some interference and other videos had to be made and. I just, but I still wanted to review this movie because um, I was looking forward to this. Um, I have seen the original Chicken Run and it's good. It's not one of my favorites from DreamWorks or Aardman, but I could definitely see why it is a iconic stop motion film. And now, and now we have the, the sequel, the Netflix sequel. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I get, DreamWorks ended their partnership with Ironman, but I still think they should have been released in cinemas. Or at the very least, released to limited cinemas before dropping on Netflix everywhere. I feel like that would have made a lot more sense, because Netflix has done that quite a few times. But, yeah, um, the film came out on Friday, and yeah, I like it. It's a, it's a good enough sequel. So, this film picks up right where the first movie left off with the chickens enjoying their, their new island paradise and our main characters, Ginger and Rocky, now having a daughter named Molly. And as years pass, she grows up to feel adventurous, kind of, um, and wants to explore more and when, how, but when she does just that, she ends up getting she ends up getting kidnapped and taken to this chicken farm run by the villain of the first movie, Mrs. Tweety, which, who we all thought was dead, given that she was squished by Mr. Tweety at the very end of the first movie. But, nope, she survived, and she is here for revenge. Let me tell ya. And... Whereas the last movie was about breaking out of a chicken farm, as Ginger said, this time, they're breaking in. So, force and fur- so, let's get to the pros first. The animation. I'm a- I- I really like stop motion, and Ardman, in my opinion, seems to be the king of that type of animation. And I always love with their, um, I always love the way their mouths move with the, um, with the mainly British, um, actors. I think they're British. I don't know. I need to check the cast list. And, um, Ardman has always had that unique way of, um, they've always had that unique way of, um, mouth moving, lip syncing, and I really like how they implement it, and the voice actors do a great job with that too. Um, I forgot who, I forgot who, I forgot the, who the replacement for Ginger is, but I do know the Rocky replacement is Zachary Levi, who I really like. I like him in the Shazam movies, I like him in Tangled. He's a, he's a good actor, and I think he does a good job here. And while some actors do reprise their roles, like, and um, there are also some new actors, particularly Bella Ramsey, who, if you've seen my Hilda review, you know I am a big fan of. I loved her in Hilda, I loved her in The Last of Us, and yeah, I, I thought she was good in this too. Now, um... I guess I should also address the, some of my other um, pros with this movie. I like the humour. Sometimes it's a little lacking in terms of the amount of it, but when it does appear, it usually does make me chuckle. I especially like Babs' humour, where um, she's just like she was in the first movie, where she always gets these... Um, okay, how do I say this without getting cancelled or offending a lot of you? Um, um, she always has that, um, messed up, um, 
kind of, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I, like, that, yeah, I legit can't continue saying this without offending quite a lot of you. But yeah, uh, Babs is still pretty funny in this, uh, some of the new characters, uh, Molly, her friend, they they also provide some good laughs, and, oh, yes, the, the rat duo, they, they were pretty funny too. And, um, I also liked, um, granted the story is kind of the same, just with a few reverses and even a few, um, cliches that I find, think some people are going to find, um, a bit iffy and boring. But the good news is, I like the first film story, for the most part, and I do, and... Honestly, if a story is like its predecessor, then I'm bound to like it too. It this was this was the deal with the Avatar movies, this was the deal with the Home Alone movies, the first two. And I think the same applies here. Now I did say there was some cliches, and that is true. The overprotective parents, the curious child, the um ends up doing what they want, but ends up getting in a bad situation because of it, cliche. The parent eventually learning that... Okay, I think that's about all I can say without spoiling. Because I do want these reviews to be spoiler-free. But, um... Yeah, um, aside from that, I thought this was a decent time. Um, Ardman really does wrong with uh, animation for me, and... Well, they do primarily do stop motion. They have done a few CG movies, even with their stop motion style. They don't. They haven't really made a bad movie like ever. Um, I I don't know if I've seen all of them. I I've seen Wallace and Gromit, Pirates, Flushed Away, Arthur Christmas, Shaun the Sheep, Early Man. Yeah, I think I have seen all of them actually, and. I like the Chicken Run movies too, including this one, and and to think that Ardman's next movie is a Wallace and Gromit movie, that's really exciting because I am a big fan of The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Sorry, I know this review is getting off topic, but this just goes to show how much I like Ardman, and they, they also haven't failed here, and I don't think they'll be failing anytime soon, and I'm really looking forward to what they do next. So, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for Splendid. The, um, the story could have been stronger and there could have been some more humour. But, otherwise, it was a delightful time with charming characters, funny jokes, and despite a rehash story, it's a good rehash story. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. I, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like it if you have. Subscribe. Yeah. Like it if you have, subscribe if you're brand new, and ring the bell to be notified on more videos. And also comment below your thoughts on the movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you like it like I did? Did you just think it wasn't that good? Or are you mixed in between? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to support me even further, you can do so by joining my Patreon page. If you support me on my videos, you'll get a shout out at the end of every video. If you support me on my art, you'll get a sneak peek on future stuff. And you can also support me for both at a discounted rate. So, that's about it for today, and until next time, farewell.